Chelsea and Maggie are our two conjoined twins. Uh, they've traveled to us from Sierra Leone for the explicit purpose of being separated. Um, they're now five months old. My daughters, this is Maggie and this is Chelsea. They like to sleep. Okay, if we're looking at the babies now, we can see that they're connected here across their abdomen. And they're going to be separated here across their abdomen. Seeing two conjoined twins that are healthy, that are appropriate for separation, is extremely rare. The entire experience in the literature is, is limited in terms of how many of these operations have actually been done. Chelsea and Maggie are primarily joined at the chest wall and at the abdomen. Anatomically, that the most likely areas where they're going to be joined is certainly at their liver and then potentially also at their uh, breastbone and their pericardium, which is the lining around the heart. We knew that we would need to create more skin and soft tissue in order to have adequate coverage over their organs after we separated them. And so six weeks ago, we placed tissue expanders underneath their skin and began a process of slow expansion of the soft tissue envelope. And we are setting the stage for what will be a uh, very big day, but a very good day, um, where we're hoping to separate them successfully tomorrow. July 2018, I got married. My lovely wife gave birth to three babies. The boy was separated. The two girls was conjoined. When my children born, I feel excited why I see them, but I was thinking about their separation, whether they are going to separate or not. Unfortunately, I lost my son after a couple of weeks in the hospital in Sierra Leone. There was really a big devastation for the family. That's when they really wanted to go uh, seek a medical care outside. When they are separated, we know we are going to be a super happy family. I want my babies going well, play, and have a successful life and happy life. We know tomorrow is a big day, but after the final separation, it will be more easier for us and also for them. This morning uh, begins the day of separation. You know, we are prepared, we are ready for any unexpected event. I'm really excited for the family. This is really going to play out, we hope, as a well-coordinated symphony where we're going to culminate with each person doing their portion and using their expertise to create this separation. First several hours will be the uh, delivery of anesthesia and the monitoring. It's then the uh, separation will begin, will take several hours, and the reconstruction uh, will take an additional several hours. So we'll go most of the day uh, today. So we're about to start the split. The first thing that will need to happen will need to actually be a separation of their breastbone or their sternum. And then we're going to get to the point where we're going to have to do a separation of the lining of the heart. And so that's going to be Dr. Bosch's job to separate any of the cardiac contents. After that, we're going to work our way down into the intra-abdominal area. And so at that time, Dr. Tom Cato from our liver transplant team will take the lead. There's only one organ that is really clearly fused is the liver. And then uh, it's not a really small portion, it's a very big portion of the liver is fused. So we have to split into two parts. So then the next part of the surgery, Dr. Stilianos and I will take the lead and we'll do the final separation of the rest of the soft tissue envelope. We then had a magical moment where we took the two girls which were sharing one table and we now brought them to two separate tables being the first time that they were physically in a separate space. The twins have been separated there. 
We still have a fair amount of work to do. We'll update you as we're going along, but we wanted to deliver that, that piece of information. They were cheering. <laughs> it's a great moment. I was so overjoyed. I don't know what to say. When I hear my God is separated. We now, in a sense, had two simultaneous operations that were ongoing. As we have known and as we suspected all along, although the two girls were conjoined, they are not made equally. On the one table, Dr. Basha and his team, assisted by Dr. Cato, began the process of trying to actually get Chelsea's left ventricle to sit within her chest. Myself and my team, along with Dr. Cilianos, um, was taking the lead on beginning the closure process for Maggie. We brought the both girls up to the ICU. Well, the day of the surgery, we go and see them separated, different beds. Oh, <laughs> we are so happy at that moment. We shared a hug with the parents. Thank you, thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you very They are doing great because now they move, they stand for themselves, they walk a little bit. So they are doing well now. You know, this whole experience, I would say, has been so gratifying. It was amazing to see this young, young couple, you know, uh, display such, you know, bravery and bringing their children here for us to take care of and really trusting that, you know, we have the correct expertise here to do so. There are definitely two different girls. Chelsea, though she may be the smaller one, had a lot of spunk to her and had a lot of strength. And Maggie seemed a little more domicile and a very, very smiley little baby. You know, it was just remarkable to see the two kids and to see the dynamic between them and the parents. My kids are separated now. They have to live a normal life like the other kids. So I happy with my lovely wife so much because we went through a lot before the separation. We give thanks and appreciation to each and everyone in this hospital. The way we see them playing together, they are, they are having new life right now. They're feeling good. We're so happy about that. I want them to be healthy and better life like the other kids are because they are different now. Everything will be okay. <laughs>